Good evening, everyone. It is Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another Vintage Live sale. I've got 20 great items that I will be sharing with you all tonight. Before we get started, let's go ahead and review the rules. So make sure that you all are set to live chat and not top chat to get the most accurate results of who gets what. If we do make a mistake on our end, we apologize for that, but remember, we do go by what we see in the chat on our end. Mystic Mom, my mother, will be keeping track for us tonight. My brother and my dad are camping this weekend. Uh, the last one that they went on to, unfortunately, got rained out. So hoping everything, crossing my fingers, goes well for the rest of the weekend. They have all of tonight and into Sunday. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Also, I wanted to let you all know that I seem to be doing pretty darn well um, in regards to how I was doing with my last sale. As you all know, I did have quite a bit of a binge on some seaweed snacks, which caused me to have a lot of tingling and inflammation in my arms and in my hands. Fortunately for me, uh, drinking a lot of pure leaf tea, drinking a lot of water and watching my sodium intake has greatly reduced it. I haven't had any tingly feelings for about a week, two weeks now, which is fantastic. So I'm feeling much better on that end, although I am really monitoring how much salt I'm taking in because last thing I want is to have another episode like that because I was panicky. I'm a hypochondriac. And we've got my cat in here who is being a pain in the butt. Tiggy, I'm gonna make you come over here and say hi to everyone if you don't stop it. So yeah, so I'm feeling much better on that. I do have a lot of smaller items tonight because I wanna just make it easier. Okay, you know what? Let me get my cat out of here real quick, I'm sorry. Or go under the bed and stay under there. So let's, oh yes, let me go back to the rules. See, my mind's all over the place. I've had a really long week. So first person who claims an item in the chat will win it. Um, if you are from a different part of the country, like let's say you're in Texas or California, or if you're interested in buying something and you're from Canada, shipping maybe a little bit more because that's just how it is, unfortunately. Nothing I can do. What are my other rules? I feel like I lost my rule sheet. Uh, well, we've all been to these sales, we know. So I do have some stuff that dad did ask me to go ahead and try to sell for him, just a few things, and then the rest are mine. So before I jump right in, let's see who we have in the chat. So we've got Katie, thanks for popping on. Is this Christy Garza? I'm trying to remember. Tippy Winks Vintage is Christy Garza, right? This is who you watch out for and she'll be telling you who got what. So Mystic Mom. And we've got Nate in the house. We've got, who else do we got? Miss Judy Skelet, thanks for popping on. We got Mermaid Cove. Hi, Michelle. This is a new name to me on my channel, Will's Thrifting Ventures. Thanks for popping on. Miss Stacy Brinkley. And we've got our very lovable D from the Thrill of the Thrift. I hope everyone is doing well tonight. I don't know if I've got bags under my eyes or if it's just, because I feel like I got sunburned or something. Like maybe I was out in the sun or something, but yeah, a little bit of heat going right here. Who else? We, oh, we got Miss Pamela Blanchard. I can't wait for your sale. Make sure you all pop on to that after this. I don't want to take too long. I want to try to at least do 45 minutes on here so that way everyone can pop on over to there because let me tell you, flipping and sipping was fun last night, but I was in a bit of a mood. I think I was just tired. So I need some, uh, I need some Pamela Blanchard in my life after this <laughs> live sale. So we've got Sandra Outerbridge. Thank you for popping on. Teresa Bryant. Thank you for popping on tonight. Crafty Jackie. How are you doing tonight? Miss Robin Summers. We've got Karen's Vintage and More. I can hear myself downstairs because my mom's probably watching on the TV. All right, we've got Grace Home Vintage. We've got Larry Riley, that's a new name to me. Thank you for popping on, everyone. we got Miss Connie Emmerich, Embellished by Bev. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. we got Miss Norma Jean Plus One. And hello to everyone else I missed. Vicki Bluebird, that's a new name to me. Welcome aboard. 
Oh, dad is here, but he's out camping. I hope it's going well. Miss Penny Forshi, we've got Leanne Say, we've got Victoria H. Be safe if you're traveling. Get to your destination safely. All right, so we're going to start off with some dad items tonight. Oh, one more person. Hi, Sandy Otto. Some of you all's names I kind of forgot. Excuse me. Got a bit of an itch there. I'm wearing a mask for nine hours. So dad's items are going to be first, and I will show you everything that he's got. So this was something that he's had for quite a while, as everything else he's had, because he's just as bad of a hoarder as I am. And don't you deny it, dad. So he wanted me to show this to you all. This is a really cool piece of, I guess it was a promotional giveaway for Ovaltine. It's got Little Orphan Annie and Sandy on it. And if it decides to focus tonight, there we go. It says, Leap Lizards, for a swell summer drink, there's nothing like a cold Ovaltine shakeup. Hey, eh, Sandy? Arf. So this was made by Beetleware Corp in New York. Let me get that to focus for you all. And it does have the original lid that says Orphan Annie's Cold Ovaltine Shake Up Mug. So that's what this is. It would be a great item for display or if you collect the original Little Orphan Annie stuff. I know that in the 80s when they remade the movie with, was Rosie O'Donnell in that? I can't remember. No, maybe I'm thinking of a 90s movie. But yeah, you get the picture. So this awesome mug with hardly anywhere, I mean, there's a little bit of defects like right here from age. So this mug can be yours for $6. $6 number 13 for the really cool Little Orphan Annie um, Ovaltine mug or cup. Great for display. Tiggy, what you up to, huh? Knock anything over and we're going to have a problem, cat. So $6, number 13 for the Little Orphan Annie Oval Team Cup. All right, and I had to bag these next few items because... I was afraid of putting the blue tape on them. Let's just put it that way. Hi, Kim. So this is a, um, what is this thing called? It's a little um, razor, I think. It almost looks like a bicycle seat. Here's what the uh, shell looks like. It says cutie or cutie, probably cutie. And it's actually, I think it's a razor you can actually use. It's in there. It's a really nice blue color. I would put this in a junk jar if it were up to me. And it comes in what I think is the original box, or maybe it was just a box that my dad found it in. Looks like that. And dad is asking $5 for this. So $5 for the cutie um, razor. Let me open it up and show you all what it looks like in the box. And it does come with a blade. And that can be yours again for $5. Number 59. Number 59 for $5 for the QD Razor. Yeah, I'll put it up to the screen again so you all can see it. Yeah, I think it's a travel razor, Katie. I mean, it's pretty small. I mean, I would put it in like my purse if I had one because it's that small. It's a great looking piece if you like industrial. You could put it in a shadow box if you wanted to. Kind of like what my dad did or what I had sold for him a while ago, the razors in the uh, record frame. All right, let me put that up here. This, I forget already what it is. Oh, this is really cool. If any of you all are into like rocks and minerals, this is a Scott's Guide to the Study of Rocks and Minerals. Got a bunch of rocks glued into a uh, box here, and it just tells you what it is. Got that. Pretty much in good shape, I would say. I mean, for the age of it. This, again, would look great with industrial or if you just collect this kind of stuff. So this piece is going to be $5. 
$5 for the Rock and Mineral set, number one. So again, $5, number one for the Rock and Mineral set. Oh, and for the record, I did clean up this guest room. I mean, it's pretty much done, which is great. This place was a pigsty before I cleaned it. I, I cleaned it before I left on uh, last Thursday. I think I may have to get my cat out of here. She's distracting me. All right, so this piece is really cool, and it's in the box. Again, if you like industrial-looking stuff, this would definitely be for you. Hi, Kathy Biller. Thanks for popping on tonight. Sorry, I'm kind of focusing on what I'm doing here instead of the chat. Tiggy, come here. Come here now. Come here. You're not going to listen to me. So we've got this really awesome Westinghouse... Um, I think this is a portable radio, I think. I could be wrong, though. Let me see. Westinghouse Owner's... Oh, it just says Westinghouse Owner's Guide for Care and Operation. RPA 5200 is the model number. It's got the headphones, and it's got the actual device in it. I'd love to show you all Tiggy Pan, but she runs away from me, even when you try to give her attention. So maybe one of these days I'll get a chance to show them all to you. Or show her to you all, but... If I go try to go get her, she's just going to run under the bed again. So, nope. So, this awesome Westinghouse piece is in the original box. It was made in Hong Kong, and it has the zip code on it. So, it's after 1963. I mean, it's got some wear and tear, I mean, due to age. Hi, Christina. Postcards in patina. Nope. Tiggy D. Tiggy, I can't remember how it's spelled. T-I-G-G-I -G -G -I is how I spell it. But I think it was spelled differently when we got her. Nope. My cats don't listen. They just don't. Man, that's bad focusing. But yeah, it's in the box. I mean, I think Vintage and Vinyl would like this because she likes that kind of industrial look, even if she just displays it on a shelf. Hi, Misty. Thanks for popping on. So Dad would like to get $10 for this awesome Westinghouse piece in the original box. And now she's, get out of there. Get out. No. Bad cat. So ten dollars, number ninety-two for the Westinghouse portable radio. Ten dollars, number ninety-two. I'll show it again. Hopefully, it stays in the box. But yes, this is what it is. Alrighty. Put that down here. All right. So this is really cool. And I if they are kitschy enough, I will keep them for myself. It's another one of those chained animals, but it's in the box. I've never seen these in the box before. And I'm opening it the wrong way. No wonder it's not opening up. These ones look like they're from a dime store. Just judging by the look of them. Look at Teddy Bear, like free chest on. Does it say, I think it says Japan. Yep, it says one set made in Japan on the box. But there's nothing on the box to say what it is. So here's what they look like. I think they're teddy bears. So if you're a teddy bear collector, this would be great for you. And they are just adorable. Guys, I'm so sorry. Hold on. Let me see if I can get her to get out of here. Tiggy, do you want out? Come on. I'll let you out, sweetheart. Yes. Come on, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, I think I got her, guys. Look. This is her. My naughty sister. Say hi to everyone, Tiggy. Say hi. All right, sweetheart. We're going to get you out of here. Because you're driving me absolutely insane. Go on. Ugh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Finally got her. But yes, back to the animals that are in the original box. Yes, they are in the original box. New old stock, I guess you could say, with very minor wear. I see a slight chip on this one's ear, if it'll focus for me. Slight little chip. Oh, I don't know if it's going to show, like, right there. But other than that, these things, if they stay in the box, are in pretty good shape. And we are asking for the boxed teddy bear chain animals. $14. So $14, number 65, for the chained animals. $14, number 65, for the chained animals in the original box. $14, number 65. I think that was everything of dad's. Okay, so we got everything of dad's done for tonight. So now we can move on to my stuff. And I appreciate everyone who has purchased from me so far. So, oh, was Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift here? Thanks for popping on. So this was something I picked up when I was thrifting with Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage when she came into town. And I just thought it would be a nice gift for somebody. It's a Lennox ornament. And it's metal, and it says Teacher's Rule on it. And it's got, like, a hollow leaf garland on the top, and it's in the shape of a ruler. I know that it's hard for teachers nowadays with all those with all this distance learning going on, and that's a lot more complicated than having to go into a school and teach a bunch of kids. Ugh, I couldn't imagine that. Uh, the packaging's got some scuffing on it, but the item itself is new. Here, let me take it out of the box for you. doesn't appear to be used at all. So this Lennox ornament can be yours for $6. So $6, number 88, for the Teacher's Rule Lennox ornament. $6, number 88. There we go. Yep, six bucks, number 88 for the Teacher's Rule Lennox Ornament. Great Christmas gift, or if you're a teacher yourself, be great for you. All right, so the next item I would like to share with you all. Now, do they really hate ornaments, JK? So, channeling my inner trusty huckster, I've got a set of 70s, um, what are these? Smiley face coasters. They are made by the American Greetings Corporation in Cleveland, Ohio. Ew, am I showing the price? Nope. Yeah, but it's got the American Greetings Corp on there, made in U.S. I know it's not Hallmark. But yes, they're very 70s, as you can see. Brand new and sealed. These would be great for, oh my gosh, I can't even begin to tell you what uh, uh, possibilities you could have with 12 coasters, even sealed up. Uh, these are going to be $4, brand new and sealed. $4, number two, for the smiley face ornaments. Ornaments, my goodness. Smiley face. Um, coasters, my goodness. Yes, I think he's got a thing for coasters, I'm telling you. Yes, he's definitely got a thing for coasters. And these ones are older, so you could... I mean, I don't know what you could do with these, but the possibilities are endless with these. So yeah, $4, number two for the smiley face coasters. Man, I can't believe we're 20 minutes in already. 
I do too, Katie. All righty, so I've got these really cute number, cute number, cute little, I think these are schnauzers or something. I can't remember what they are. They're really cute though. I just shared them in a recent video. He's got a little damage to his foot. I don't know if it was repaired or if it was just cracked like that. But yeah, they're real cute. They got a really nice blue color to them. This one has a Japan sticker on the bottom. And then this one doesn't have a mark on him at all, but he's just the pup and he's really, really cute. Now these guys can be yours for $4. So $4 for the set of two. And they are number 66. So number 66 for $4 for the cute little schnauzer pups. Hi, Lucid. All righty. Another set, or another cute little uh, figurine here is this blue cat. And he, or not blue cat, but he's got a blue ball and he's got a blue bow tie on. No cracks or chips to him. And I don't know if he's got a mark on him, but he was probably Japan. Even though it's not focusing. But yeah, I'm sure this was probably a Japan piece. And he too is also $5. So $5 for the really cute cat, number 49. $5 for 49 for the really cute kitty figurine. If you collect cats, he's definitely going to be ready for you. All righty. Now I've got a planter here. I've got actually two of them. One I tried to sell last or the last time I did a sale when I dropped the price on it because I think somebody would really enjoy it. Now this is, I think it's J Japan. It's faint underneath the crazing, but it's there. It says made in Japan or maybe it's made in occupied Japan. I think it says occupied Japan on the bottom. Yeah, I think that does say occupied Japan and it's a uh, planter and it's got I think that's a panda bear holding on to a tree stump it almost looks like a shoe doesn't it just the shape of it looks like a boot I'm gonna get him to focus because he's so darn cute so yeah that's a really cute little planter you could throw an airplane in there if you wanted to put pens in here or paint brushes you could do that too now this piece is gonna cost $6. $6, number 95 for the really cute little Occupied Japan planter. Now, I don't see any cracks or chips or anything like that anywhere on it. There might be some slight paint loss due to age, but that's just normal. Okay. Next piece I would like to share with you all are these, I think these are California. No, these are Zanesville Pottery. Uh, let me see here. Let me pull the price off of here real quick. These are great mid-century pieces. They're mid-century, um, I think they're leaves, and they've got flowers on them. One in green and one in blue. When I originally picked them up, that's why I bought them, because green and blue are my favorite colors. They both have the mark for Zanesville, Ohio on the back and it says Zanesville, Ohio, patent pending, Opco. So we've got this one in green. They're really, really neat looking. I like the colors of them, but it's just not something that I think I want to hold on to anymore. I've got plenty of other cool things that I think I can hoard. So we got that one and then we've got this blue one here and the blue was the one I was initially attracted to. Now, I did look these up just to see what they were going for to determine how I was going to price them. And most people on eBay were asking about like 8 to $9 a piece for them. 
Plus, they were asking a ridiculous amount to ship it, and it's not. it wouldn't cost that much to ship these. So instead of asking upwards of about 20 bucks, which is what you would pay online, plus the shipping, I am asking $15 for the set. Um, berries in the bowl, I think they might be flower buds. Maybe not um, berries. But you could use these for trinket dishes. I mean, throw your rings in here. Possibilities are endless with some of this vintage stuff. I mean, you don't have to use them for the original purpose. And I think these probably sat on a table. Or I think what someone did originally is they hung some string to them so that they could hang them on the wall, which is another great idea. But yeah, so these two pieces of pottery, these leaf trinket dishes, are $15 for the set. So $15 for the two leaf trinket dishes, number five. They would look good on a table. So yep, $15 for the pair of these, that's $7.50 each, number five. Careful with them. All righty. Now these are really, really cute. And again, I bought these a while ago. And I think somebody else will really enjoy them. They would be great for Thanksgiving. They're little Native Americans in their water moccasins, or not water moccasins, but in their moccasins. Let me focus each one of them so you guys can see their cute little faces and what they're holding. There we go. I don't think there are any cracks or chips on them. They do have this quality product sticker on the back that says Japan. So that's the boy, Native American. And he's holding what I think is a um, ax. And here's the girl. Yeah, I don't know if they are water moccasins. No problem, Sandra. I'm just glad that you're here. Best of luck moving. We moved three times in less than two years. So yeah, let me tell you, that that was, oof. So last summer, before all this COVID hit, was the first year that we had not moved. Because we moved from Gaithersburg to where we are now, to a rental place. And then about a year after we moved up here, we found a house. So then we moved again the next year. So that was stressful in itself. Good night, Wendy. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. So yeah, these really cute water, I was about to say water moccasins again. Lord help me. Moccasins. So they're actually salt and pepper shakers, if I didn't say that. You're getting them for exactly what I paid for them because I don't feel that they are worth more than that. So you will be getting them for $5. So $5 for the Native American and Moccasins Salt and Pepper Shakers, number 23. $5, number 23 for the Water Mock... I just did it again. I keep thinking of Water Moccasins. Why? I don't know. Moccasins. All right. Now, I don't think it would be fun if I didn't have a elephant to share with you all, because I know that that is very popular. So I've got an elephant with its trunk up, and it was a souvenir from Hershey Park. And Hershey Park is actually not that far from me at all. And it does have Japan on the back of it. It's not on the bottom, but it's pressed into the piece. And this awesome little elephant can be yours. He's $5. So $5, number 24, for the elephant from Hershey Park. Lift the trunk up. So 
So yeah, five bucks, number 24 for the elephant. They are, so I think I'm kind of going with the trend here. But yeah, he's cool looking. And he's easy to ship. That's That was my goal here, was to try to show stuff that was going to be easy to ship. All right. What else do I got here? Oh, yes. I've also got, if I don't break them, <laughs> I've got another pair of salt and pepper shakers. And these, I believe, are Shawnee. We've got, I think they're floral. They look like that. And one has the stopper, the other one does not. But they would just make great display on your table for fall or even if you just want to if you want to use them, they'd be great. Now this one does have a rough spot, but I feel like it was manufactured because it's not sharp. Like right there, if you can see that. There's that little spot like right here. And then on this one, it's got another uh, maybe it's just paint, but it looks like they mispainted it because I've seen other ones online where that's not like that. And it's not bisque, like you can't feel the bisque. It's just a, I guess it must have been a miss, uh, like an error or something. I don't know when they were making them. But these awesome pieces, which would look great for fall, are five bucks. So you can have the awesome alleged Shawnee salt and pepper shakers for five dollars, number 52. Thank you, Sandra. $5, number 52 for the fall-esque Shawnee plant planters. My gosh, I think I've had too many days at work today. Or too many days. Help me, please. Too many days that I worked this week. But yes. Okay, so I do have some ephemera that I would like to share with you all. I'm in Maryland, Sandra, like out in the country. All right, so this I bought along with a bunch of other ephemera when I was, I think it was right before my Salvation Army moved. They had a bunch of this, these really cool old paper, and you guys know I love old paper and old magazines and things like that because you can find some great stuff in them. So this is from January of 1943. So this appealed to like New Year's displays if you're doing that kind of thing. This is called the Etude Music Magazine. And it's got a really cool image of a baby and it looks like there's a stuffed dog. This is for the Bel Air High School Library. Bel Air High, Bel Air High School Library. It's got a great image, and I think Bel Air High is in Maryland, so this may have been a local piece. Take it out. I think it's just a bunch of music sheets. Yeah, there's a bunch of, like, music and stuff in here. But, yes. Sometimes the resellers get the whole the whole sale right. <laughs> I definitely do not. Definitely not, because I am tired and I'm flawed by the end of the day. Oh, there's a note in here. Eh, I don't know what that is, but it's got 1943 on it. Well, thank you for popping on, Char. But yes, this definitely has great potential. You could frame it, put it out for New Year's if you want to. It's got a great image on it, and it's only $5. So this awesome piece of ephemera can be yours. For five bucks, all you gotta do is type in number four in the chat. So five bucks, number four for the Etude Music Magazine. And this is gonna be an easy shipper because guess what, it can go media mail because it's just a magazine. Five dollars, number four for the awesome Etude Music Magazine from January of 1943. And speaking of ephemera, I actually have quite a bit of magazines that I'm selling in a lot. So I will show them to you. Now, I like to pick them up when they're cheap because that means, you know, if I don't like them, I can always sell them to you all for a really good price. So I'm going to show you each of the titles. Most of these, excluding one, is one of them is a photo play magazine from 1959, and the rest of them are 
True Confession magazines from the early to mid 60s. So like I said, I rummage through the magazines and if I don't like the content in them, I'll set them aside and I'll put them in a live sale. So this one is from November of 1959, like kind of shortly after that whole scandal with uh, Eddie Fisher and Elizabeth Taylor blew up. So the title reads, has Debbie gotten over Eddie? On the back, we've got an ad for Salem cigarettes. And there's just some interesting stuff in here, just nothing that I was really interested in. So we've got that one. And then we've got, now again, these are all in vintage condition. So if you were to take these apart and use them for like junk journaling, that would be such a great thing. So we've got a true story magazine. Is the man I want to marry a priest? Four hours of love in an elevator. Oh boy. Can't imagine that. But yes, this one is from May of 66. And you can definitely tell this is 60s, just judging by this girl's hair. This is a, another true confessions. Love turned me into a thief. Our office affair exploded in scandal. Well, then don't do it in the office. Honestly. People don't think. Even back then, they didn't. Key club girl. But yes, again, they didn't really appeal much to me when I looked through them, but there's always something in here for everyone who likes vintage ephemera. This is another True Confessions. This one's from August 1962. Too soon to have a baby, love secrets of a Japanese wife. I cried on my wedding night. Well, I guess so. That's that one. Here's what the back looks like. Something for Christmas cards. Again, like I said, if you're not looking to use these or like just to look through them and you want to cut them up and make stuff out of them like scrapbooks or junk journals, this would be great. I like the, the image on this one, but again, not really my thing. This one's from January of 63, another true confessions. A love-hungry teenager. She couldn't be trusted. Do your sex fears betray you? A beautiful model, shocking confession, enslaved by something underneath somebody's something. I don't know. Here's the cover. And here is the back, which is a Kotex napkins ad. This one is a bit new, well, a bit newer. This one's from April of 1970. I'm not even gonna read that title because that's, uh, that's a little bad. It happened to me, the man who wrecked my marriage was my wife, okay? How one hour of last Saturday, something, 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 my suh, something. Hi, Gina. But yeah. True stories. Another ad for Salem cigarettes on the back. The story of a girl who was a woman at 12. That's the title. I just got stuff like this in here. Again, they're all in vintage condition. They're not perfect. And this one's true story. The, my doctor stole my bride. Can I kill this man who also saved my life? Oh my God. Now this one's got a little bit of significance to it because I know for the time being that that was a very, very brazen move for what was going on in this country, unfortunately. Here's the, here's the page for that. So this has got some historical uh, significance just because of the scandalous acts of the time. I know, believe me, Katie, I was shocked too. But it is from 1966, so kind of at the height of the civil rights movement when that was a thing, I guess. So you will be getting all of this. And there are how many magazines? We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we've got seven magazines. Seven of these awesome magazines that you can use for junk journaling or whatever it is that you would like. Right, exactly, Sandra, that's exactly right. 
So you're going to get the seven magazines from 1959 up through 1970 for a grand total of $15. So you're getting seven magazines for $15. And I did do the math for you all. That's $2 and 14 cents a piece. So awesome junk journaling content. Number 30. So all those magazines for 15 bucks, number 30 for a total of $2.14 each. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty here. Now I know a lot of you admired this the last time I did a video or a live sale. It's that baby girl planter by Relpo. And it's got the cursive R on the bottom for Relpo. Really, really cute. I've never seen one like this before, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up when I did. It's very, very, I mean, it's different. I always say I've never wanted kids, but for some odd reason, the I've always been attracted to like the baby planters and things like that. I don't know what it is. I'm just weird, I guess. But yes. So this really cute baby planter can be yours for $12 instead of $14 this week. So $12, excuse me, number 70. $12, number 70 for the really adorable baby planter. Which, um, which article were you all talking about? That one with the, uh, the African-American couple who got the, uh, the white couple's baby. If you want me to send you pictures of that article, I'll be gladly do that for you. All right, so I'm sure you all remember this from a haul that I did not that long ago. So this is a, I think this is pressed glass, Indiana, and it's blue, which is what originally attracted me to it. And it's it's got a textured pattern to it, and I believe this is called the Windsor pattern from what I've seen at other antique malls. It's like a tall creamer. Like you could put juice in here for your kids in the morning if you wanted to. And it's heavy. Like this isn't a light piece. But yeah, it's got a really nice textured pattern on it. I think it's pressed glass from by Indiana. So I am asking eight bucks for this piece. So $8 for the Windsor pitcher number 60. So $8 number 60. That's what I thought, pressed glass. Yep, $8 number 60 for this really heavy duty, crackless and chip free pitcher. Oh gosh, I didn't even think to measure it. It's, yeah. Alrighty, so I do have some pieces of RS Prussia that I've purchased. I think I've got some berry bowls, at least that's what I think it is. So I've got two of these, and they are marked RS Germany on the back. Of course, yep, I know those magazine titles are a little, uh, little racy for their time, but nowadays it's like, whatever. It is what it is. But that was also back in the day when you didn't discuss a lot of things that happened in your household. Whereas, you know, it's everywhere nowadays. Sometimes I wish we could go back to that time. Hey, Scott. Thanks for popping on tonight. I had a great time with you last weekend. I really did. It was so much fun. Especially because we both hadn't been to that, well, I hadn't been to that area in almost a decade. And you had never been that way. We should definitely meet up there again. I didn't mind driving all that way. Because I made stops along the way. So we've got two of those. And then I think these are, oh boy, I don't even know what these are. Smaller plates. Hi, Charnel. Oh man, what are these? They're smaller plates. I think they might be like dessert plates or something like that, but they've got the roses on them. They're very shabby chic if that's what you're into. And I'm selling all four pieces together in a set, I guess you could say. 
So for the four pieces, which of course are going to have flaws because they're vintage, I'm asking 14 bucks for four pieces. So what's that? I don't even know. 350 each. I think it's 350 because seven for the two and then seven for the two. So that's right. So $14 for the four RS Prussia Germany pieces, number 21. $14, number 21 for the RS Prussia pieces. Now these I did try to share last time. Is that what they are, fruit bowls? See, I just kind of grabbed them because I know people like that stuff. Now these I did sell or show the last time and they did not sell. These are, what are these, border collies? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long, a long day. Yeah, I'm with you, Jack Gatles. I need to get myself a new computer because mine is literally is about as outdated as shoulder pads. I've had it since I was like a junior in high school. Actually, you know what? I think it was. I was a junior in high school when we got this computer because my other one was uh, got messed up. But yeah, so we got both of these. This one does have some, yes, yeah, spaniels. That's right. I think I shared them last time and I had that same issue. This one's got some um, chippy doodles of paint on his nose. And this one looks to be in better shape, but there are some minor chips to it due to age. And I did drop the price on them because maybe I was asking too much last time. Hi, Cindy's thrifting again. So these, this time, are going to be 8 bucks for the set of them. So $8 for the Spaniel Chalkware pieces, number 64. So 4 bucks a piece, you can't say no to that. Yep, 8 bucks, number 64, for the Spaniel Chalkware pieces. Buy me, please. Take me home with you. All right. Now, do I got any poodle lovers in here tonight? Because I've got some stuff that I think you all will definitely love or something that I've had for a while. And I hope you all will like them. So I, oh boy, that looks really, really bad. So I have some poodles on a chain this time. Some black poodles on a chain. And I wish Elderly Poodle or Randy were here tonight because I know they would probably really like these. They're redware and they look kind of scared. They look like they just saw something really freaky. Maybe they were in a household when they watched The Exorcist on TV, judging by the, uh, the look on their faces. Or they just were watching some kind of scary movie back in the 50s. Lord, I wish I could... Uh, could uh, I wish they would focus. Now these are marked Japan, if it'll focus, and I don't think it's going to, but it does have a Japan mark on it. And there are no cracks or chips. I don't think they're redware because they have, they don't have that like darker brown color on them. But yes, they're in good shape, no cracks or chips on them. But yeah, they look like they just came out of a movie theater in the 50s with a scare, some scary movie. Maybe they were reading those magazines, Auntie Christie. I don't know. I mean, they're from the era where that kind of stuff just wasn't talked about. So maybe it, uh, there's a possibility. So these poodles, that set, awesome, by the way, can be yours for $18. $18 for the poodle trio. Number 98. Yeah, here, maybe that's better. If I stick it to my hand, that's why it's tape. So $18, number 98 for the Puda Schnuda chain animals. And that about wraps it up. We're about 10 minutes early, so that way we can all head on over to Pamela Blanchard's sale and thank Goodness, those did not break when they hit my knees. So if there's anything that 
uh, did not sell tonight that you happen to be interested in, you can email me. The link to it is down in the description box below. If you want anything from me tonight, be sure and email me as soon as possible. That way I can send you your invoice and you can get your stuff as soon as possible. I would like to thank you all for joining me tonight at my live sale. Please be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite item was that I shared tonight. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram if you happen to like see, would happen to like to see what I find when I'm out thrifting because I'm not really up to date on my uh, haul videos. So again, be sure and check out Pamela's sale after this one. I will see you all over there. And thanks so much for joining me tonight. Bye, guys.